Hi, question number nine. Prove the identity cos 4 theta plus 4 cos 2 theta is exactly the same as 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 3. Second part, hence solve the equation cos 4 theta plus 4 cos 2 theta is equal to 1 for negative pi upon 2 less or equal to theta less or, less or equal to pi upon 2. And also find the exact value of the integral of cos to the 4 theta d theta with limits 0 to quarter pi. Okay, so let's do it. <clears throat> so we have to prove that cos of 4 theta plus 4 cos of 2 theta is equal to 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 3. <coughs> okay, so first of all, I'd like to remind you that um, what is cos of 2 theta? It is 2 cos square theta minus 1. Therefore, we're going to be dealing with this one first. So I've got then cos of 4 theta is equal to, if this is cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1, then for 4 theta is 2 cos, you multiply the angle. If it is 2 theta, it is theta. If it is 4 theta, it's, become, it's going to become 2 theta. And you put your square, all right, in brackets, and then you minus 1. So that's going to give you 2, what is cos 2 theta? okay to the square this square means that the whole thing is to the square so we've got 2 cos square theta minus 1 and the whole thing to the square minus 1 so that's going to give us you expand this you're going to get 4 cos to the 4 theta minus 4 cos square theta plus 1 and then you minus 1 so that's going to be 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 8 cos square theta plus 2 minus 1 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 8 cos square theta plus 1 that is going to be added to the second part here yeah. so what is this one so basically we've got 4 times cos 2 theta 4 times cos of 2 theta it's going to give us 4 times 2 cos square theta minus 1. Alright, so that's going to become 8 cos square theta minus 4. Right, so what are we having here? A is um, this plus this one. So then we're going to say cos of 4 theta plus 4 cos 2 theta. The whole thing here, 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 8 cos square theta plus 1 plus this so plus 8 cos square theta plus 1 minus 4 so minus 8 cos square theta plus 8 cos square theta cancels out we left with 8 cos to the 4 theta 1 minus 4 is minus 3 so that has been proved 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 3, 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 3. Here we are for the first part. Now moving on to the second part, we need to solve the equation. Solve cos of 4 theta plus 4 cos of 2 theta is equal to 1. For values minus half pi less or equal to theta less or equal to half pi. So this is exactly the same as we, as, as we just found there. So we can substitute this for that one. So we're going to say then 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 3 is equal to 1. Cos theta is equal to 1 plus 3 is 4. And then you divide by 8. Okay, and so you're going to get then cos of um, theta is equal to 4 over 8 is 0 decimal 5 and power 4 means to the power of 0 0.25 so theta is going to be then <coughs> the inverse cos of this value here so I'm going to say then 0 0.5 to the power of um, 0 0.25 that's going to give us 
decimal eight four oh eight. So zero decimal eight four zero eight. So zero nine. Okay. And inverse cost of the answer this much. So zero point five seven one. So here's the answer. Because it is from minus pi to pi, so we're going to get the other value minus 0 0.571. So here we are for the second part of this question. Now, for the third part, we need to, I mean second part, B, integrate with respect to limits going from 0 to pi upon 4, the cos of 4 theta d theta. So integrating this, how are we going to do this? Okay, now we, what can we notice? What can we find out? This cos to the 4 theta is there. So we can integrate this. So maybe I can integrate, I can say, um, integral of 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 3 with the limits. Okay, and all of that is going to give me back the answer, the original. So it's going to give me this. So cos of 4 theta, because what we have here is exactly this. So this is the same. If you integrate this, it's like integrating this one as well. So we're going to say equal to the integral of cos 4 theta plus 4 cos of 2 theta d theta. Right. So then, what can we do from here? The 3 can go on the other side. The 8 also can go outside the integral and can be divided on the other side of the expression. So I'm going to say then integral of cos to the 4 theta d theta is going to be equal to the, the 3 goes on the other side. So I'm going to say then um, integral of 4 cos theta, I mean cos 4 theta, okay plus 4 cos of 2 theta d theta the 3 minus 3 is inside the integral so when it goes out it's going to goes out it's going to go out with uh, the integral as well so I'm going to say plus 3 all of that is going to be integrated with respect to theta now this 8 here you send on the other side it becomes divide so here we have the integral now we are ready to integrate this it becomes a lot easier because this one pretty hectic to integrate this. So integrating cos, you're going to get sine. You divide by the coefficient, all right? So you divide by the, by, by the derivative. So I'm going to say then um, brackets, okay? Sine of 4 theta over 4, okay? Plus sine of 2 theta, don't forget the 4, over derivative, this is 2. Okay, plus 3. Right, and if you integrate this, you're going to get theta with it. All right, so 8 times 2 is, 8 times 4 is 32, so I got then 1 over 32 sine of 4 theta plus, if you do this one, you're going to get uh, 2. All right, so... So 4 goes in 4, 1, 4 goes in this 2, 2, go, two times 2 is 4. So I'm going to get sine of 2 theta over 4 plus 3 over 8 theta. Now we can apply the limits. 5.4, 0. Okay, so let's do that. So I've got then 1 over 32 sine of 4 theta. Now what is 4 times theta? 4 times pi upon 4 is pi. So sine of pi, all right. And then plus sine of 2 theta. That means 2 times this is half theta. Okay. I mean half pi. 2 times quarter pi is half pi. So sine of pi upon 2 and divided by 4. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. That should have been uh, no brackets here. One of the thirty-two. One of the thirty-two times this. Okay. Excellent. And then we have uh, three over eight. So 
then that's going to be 3 times pi up in 4 divided by 8. So 3 over 8 times pi up in 4. Whole thing here, minus the lower limit, 0. You put 0 here, it's going to be 0. Put 0 here, you're going to get sine 0, which is 0. Put 0 here, you're going to get sine 0 again. It is 0, so minus 0. What is sine, sine of uh, pi? Sine of pi, the sine graph looks like this, so this is pi. It's going to be 0. So this is 0. And then we got sine of pi up in 2. Right here we got pi up in 2 is 1. So I'm going to say then sine of, sine of pi up in 2 is 1. So 1 over 4. So that's going to become 1 over 4 plus 3 pi over 32. So here we are. So this is the answer. And maybe if you comfortable putting it as 3 pi upon 32 plus 1 upon 4 and that's going to be the exact value of the integral of cos to the 4 theta d theta with limits pi uh, sorry pi upon 4 and 0 and that's our answer question is taken from June 2011 advanced level maths HSC paper 3